by Precept Consultant representing BJU Press Home School Materials. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Science 4, 5th edition. This is a science course that's taught through a biblical worldview and it contains 180 lessons. It's fun, colorful, engaging, and includes a lot of hands-on activities. So first let me show you what you will get in your textbook kit. You'll get the student text. You'll also get your teacher edition, part one, and there is a part two of this. Additionally, you'll get a student activity manual. You'll get the student activity manual answer key, and of course, a packet of assessments that include test quizzes and some rubrics. So at this point, let me show you inside each of these resources. This is the Science 4 5th edition textbook. And as I mentioned earlier, Science 4 is divided into three units. So you'll see Unit 1 is Life Science, and there are chapters on plants and invertebrates. You'll also find um, chapters on the human digestive system and human skeletal and muscular system in that unit. Unit 2 is Physical Science, so you'll see energy and motion, energy and work, waves, light, sound, and then the final unit is earth science. So you'll be studying earth's waters below the ocean surface, the earth's surface, uh, natural hazards, and natural resources. And again, this is 180 lessons. So there's unit one. I'll just show you a little bit up about chapter one so you can get a feel for the textbook and the layout. Many times um, they will begin with vocabulary, so you'll know what vocabulary you are looking for throughout the book. Um, there are quick checks throughout, so a couple of quick questions to quiz yourself and make sure that your child is understanding. There's great graphics. There are highlights of STEM careers that are found in science. I love the fantastic facts that are really fun to, to read as you go through. You'll see features like Meet the Scientist, where you'll be learning about different scientists in history. You'll see sections like Try It Yourself, where you get an idea of something you may want to try for yourself at home. You'll also see hands-on activities through the exploration sections. and also hands-on activities through the investigation sections. So that's an overview of what your textbook is going to look like for Science 4 5th edition. Let's take a look at the teacher editions for this. There's actually part one and part two of the teacher edition. That just means the first half of the curriculum is in this one, the second half is in this one. We're gonna just take a look at the first one. They are, they're made up of the same format. The teacher edition is really where the bulk of your teaching is going to be in your instruction, so it's a very, very valuable resource. The beginning of the contents page, it'll show you a few things that are going to be in here for you as the facilitator, and then it's simply going to go through each of the units, uh, just like I showed you in the student text. These are grayed out because that's part of the teacher edition part two. Um, at the beginning, you'll see an overview of Biblical Worldview Shaping, which is, of course, woven throughout all of this curriculum. So that's a great read to do before you start teaching. Um, there are some, there's some information on building academic rigor with Science 3, and just a lot of great introductory material that would be very good to look through before you begin teaching. This particular page here outlines some of the student edition features, and I pointed out some of those as we were looking through the student textbook, that, but this goes through them in a little bit more detail so you know exactly what your student is looking at. There's activity features, so it's showing you what those are, and then it is explaining what features are included in the teacher edition. So as you go through the lessons, you know exactly what it is that you're following in the plan. And as we get to 
get ready for the lessons themselves. There's unit one. What I really love is how the lesson plan overview is laid out so you know for each particular lesson, you know what printed resources you need, you know all of the materials and resources that you need at a glance. So that's the rest of chapter one. <clears throat> so as then as you get into the actual lessons themselves, you'll always see the chapter objectives. You'll see um, the lesson objectives, since this is the first lesson in this particular chapter, other resources, preparation that you may need to do, and then ideas on what you need to say and consider when you're actually instructing the student and working through the lesson. Sometimes there's additional background information in here for you as the facilitator, so that's helpful to make sure that you have a good grasp of the material. So as you can see too, this is just the inlay of what the student, um, the student textbook looks like. So you can see at all points in time what the student is actually looking at while you are giving the lesson. And then there's the beginning of lesson two. So it's really, really great. At the very back of the book, you will see um, some additional resources, graphs, charts, visuals that you can use. And of course, it tells you exactly what page, um, what lesson, that those go with so that you can refer to them as needed. So that is the teacher edition for science for a really great comprehensive resource. Next we have the activity and the activity answer key. And these of course are work text pages that go along with each particular lesson. Um, many lessons will have at least one work text page that go with them. Um, some may have more than one, some may not have any. Um, some of these are actual study guides to help prepare for tests and things like that. Some are work text pages that go along with some of the hands-on activities and experiments. So those are really great. The activity answer key is simply an overlay that shows you the answers so that you can check the work and um, know what answers you are checking for on your student's work text page. And last but not least, is the assessment packet, which is the assessments and then the assessment answer keys. This is a collection of quizzes, tests, and rubrics for you to use as you see fit as you go through the various chapters of Science 4. I hope you have a fantastic year exploring Science 4 together with life science, physical science, and earth science.